Hi friends, my name is Jolly, host of The Jolly Abraham Show, and I know that it is the most wonderful time of the year right now. Many of you are running around like chickens with your head cut off. You are going Christmas shopping. You are ordering online, grabbing last minute stocking stuffers. Others of you are going to Christmas parties. Uh, you are working extra hours to buy those gifts for your loved ones. I totally get it. But I would encourage you this holiday season to let's get out of ourselves, get out of even those immediately uh, in front of us in our tribe and think about that person who may be struggling this holiday season. Uh, I know that several of us, um, or we may know people where they are struggling uh, to pay bills. They may have uh, lost a loved one and they're coping with that. Uh, they may be depressed. Uh, the others may feel um, others maybe can't get to family this year because of distance or uh, disagreements and others might, might have just received some really hard news from the doctor about a, an illness that they have. So whatever the case may be, whether it is you yourself that may need some Christmas joy or you simply want to just get out of your own bubble uh, and spread some holiday joy this year, I'm going to give you seven simple ways in which you can do just that this holiday season. Let's get started. Number one, one of the ways that you can bring holiday joy this year is by calling or FaceTiming someone that you love. Now, I know that so many of us live by text. I know I do. I would prefer to text than to call because it's just quick, it's the point across, but there is something to calling someone. Um, and it's, it's another thing also to get called by someone that you love. And maybe there's someone in your life that you haven't spoken to in a while that you know would really uh, love a phone call from you. Give them a call. I'm sure they'd love to hear your voice and just um, knowing that you spent some time uh, with them this holiday season would mean the world to them. I know we can spend, you know, send memes, uh, funny gifts, but there's nothing like a phone call or FaceTime. So whatever that nudge may be um, inside your heart to give that person a call, listen to it and just do it. Number two, the next thing you can do to bring some holiday joy this year is to pay it forward, whether it is to your local coffee shop or fast food restaurant. Now y'all, I volunteer at my church uh, as a barista. I know, and I uh, typically do either the barista or cashier. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was as a cashier and a gentleman walked in, an older gentleman, he orders his drink and then he slips me a hundred dollar bill and says, I want this bill to pay for however many people that it can pay for. And I was like, first of all, shocked, didn't know what to do with it. But before I could come to my senses, he took off. I couldn't even get his name, but I was so excited after talking to my supervisor and told me who told me how to handle it, I then began to tell uh, the next person in line as they were ordering anything and everything, I began to say to them, hey, don't worry about it. Your way has been paid or it's, it's okay. You know, someone came before you and paid your way. It was just amazing to see the look on people's faces. I mean, people were looking around, they were smiling. They were like, but, but wait, I was like, I know someone was generous enough uh, before you who paid your way. It was so amazing what this guy did. When other people began to find out, uh, when other people found out what he did, they were just naturally wanting to say, well, I wanna pay for the person behind me. Here's $5. Another one was saying, hey, here's $20. I wanna pay for more people. It was just so much. It was getting out of control that I had to literally stop. All that to say, listen, when you pay it forward, it's contagious. It brings joy, it makes someone's day, and it is gonna have a ricochet effect, so do it. Whether you are in the drive through line or you're going inside to order, uh, whether it's $5 or $100, whatever it is, just pay for the person behind you and I'm telling you, you will be blessed for it. Number three, make some amazing, delicious, 
Christmas treats and give it away to someone in need. Whether you have a pregnant neighbor or someone you know is sick or just got diagnosed with an illness, or it could be a, an elderly grandparent that lives down the street from you. Whatever it is, uh, make some holiday treats and give it to them. What are you known for? Do you make that your famous Christmas cookies or brownies, cinnamon rolls, or your peppermint bark? Whatever it is, make it. And I know when you give it to them, specially packaged, coming from you, it's gonna surprise them. They're gonna feel so loved that you were thinking of them. Number four, donate to a local food bank or homeless shelter. Guys, listen, there's so many of us who are struggling financially, but even more so, we have to think about our homeless brothers and sisters, especially in cooler temperatures. Listen, they're out there in the cold. They don't have any blankets, uh, you know, long johns, uh, pants, some of them shoes, socks. So if you could donate food, clothing, even toys for little kids, do that this holiday season. Just go on your favorite search engine or Google and type in local food bank or women's shelter, nonprofit organization near me. Look them up, give them a call and ask them, hey, what is a need that you guys have? And whenever, whatever they tell you, fill the need. Um, and I know those brothers and sisters out there who have less than we do are gonna be so blessed. Listen, and if you do not have uh, food or clothing that you could maybe spare or furniture, I would encourage you to donate your time. I know there are a lot of churches um, who are doing Christmas programs. They're having two and three and four services to just accommodate all the people that they're gonna get this Christmas and New Year season, and they could use your help. Call up your church and ask, hey, is there any way that I can volunteer? Uh, some of my time, I have an extra couple of hours on a Saturday or some time during the week. They will be so appreciative of it and you will feel so good as well. Number five, another way that you can bring holiday cheer this Christmas season is to uh, shovel the snow for an elderly couple, person, or mow their lawn. I know with it being Christmas time, it's snowing in a lot of uh, many places this holiday season. And with the chilled temperatures, with the snow on the ground, um, black ice out there, it's incredibly dangerous for our senior citizens to go and uh, shovel their own snow. It gives them back problems, knee problems, I mean, you name it. So if you are young or young at heart, you own a snow blower or a shovel, get your butt out there, look around, look where the need is, and go fill the need. And I'm telling you, when you shovel their driveway, their sidewalk, they're gonna be so surprised and just so happy that you did that and you will bless them abundantly. If you live in the South, you got no snow coming your way, but you do got that tall grass, I would encourage you, uh, get your lawn mower, mow your neighbor's lawn or that elderly person's lawn, or get your lawn service. Uh, after they cut your grass, tell the guys to go and cut your elderly and neighbor's grass. And I know that they'll be so, again, full of joy that you did this. Number six, another way you can spread some holiday cheer is, to give four compliments per day with a smile. Now I know many of us don't have a lot of money. We're strapped for cash, some of us, uh, and we don't got a lot of wiggle room, but let me tell you, giving compliments is free and doing it with a smile, again, free, my friend. So I'd encourage you, whether it is your spouse, your child, coworker, friend, family member, or even a stranger, Tell that person, I want you to look at them and, and think about some ways that you could compliment them. Do you love their hair color? Do you love the lipstick that they're wearing? Their outfit? Do they have a talent or skill that you just noticed? Whatever it is, give them a compliment that's genuine from the heart and do it with a smile. I would encourage you to do it for a week and see how it makes you feel and see how they, if they don't walk away with a smile, because I'm telling you, they will. Last but not least, number seven, send Christmas cards this holiday season. Listen, 
There's nothing like opening up your mailbox and getting flooded with Christmas cards from friends and family members. It brings a smile to my face every time, and I know it does uh, to so many others. So if you are able to, look through your phone, uh, look through your phone, look at your feed, and look at the photos that you captured as a family or just of your kids and put it in a holiday card. You can do it by yourself or you can get pictures professionally done. Now here's a pro tip. If you want to do professional pictures in time for the holiday season, you definitely want to do it by months September and October. If you are in cooler climates, I would encourage you to do it maybe in the summertime because it's like perfect weather. And if you are in the warmer climates like Texas, uh, definitely the fall weather, so like September, October. This is going to give you enough time to take pictures without stressing uh, and it will also uh, get your photos back from the photographer edited and in time you'll have time to upload it on a website and you can use websites such as Shutterfly or Minted. Uh, I know we use Minted and they do such a phenomenal job. You are able to upload your addresses and they even have options where they will stamp the card for you and ship it out for an additional charge. So lots of ways that you can send uh, Christmas cards this season. If you don't want to do the family photo, uh, another great option is to just send a beautiful handwritten Christmas card. And I would encourage you to send it to someone who maybe lives alone who, or who doesn't live near any family. And just let them know, hey, I'm thinking about you. I see you. You're important to me. And I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I know that that would just uplift their spirits. All right, friends, I hope that these seven ways to bring holiday cheer this year have been helpful, practical, and it's something that you can implement this holiday season. I love you guys, and I just want to say thank you so much to every single one of you who are partnering up with The Jolly Abraham Show in giving. We could not do this show without you, and if you want to give today, please do so. I'd appreciate it. You can find out how to give in the show notes down below. Uh, I, I'm praying for you guys. I love you so much. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video like it, subscribe to it, and share this with someone who will be blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.